Development of the forklift truck in Britain early in the last century was an uplifting event. It was during the First World War, and much of the country's male workforce was on the battlefront. So the forklift literally picked up where they left off to keep the economy moving on the home front. The modern forklift has quite an extensive reach. That's because warehouses today expand up rather than out to stack more into a given space. Production starts with this welding robot. The robot uses computer smarts to fuse steel parts together to produce the truck body. Humans take over to weld together rails for the lift system's main frame. After a sleek paint job, the truck body is ready for the mechanics. An emergency switch goes on the front. It will allow the forklift operator to quickly cut the engine's power. Then they assemble the lift's hydraulic system, beginning with the tank that holds the hydraulic fluid. They hook it up to the pump that provides the required pressure. They wire the pump so they can later connect it to the forklift's battery. They nudge the pump into its permanent position and bolt it to the floor of the truck. Wiring for the lights, horn and lift sensors comes next. Then they slide a foot pedal into place. It both activates and brakes the forklift truck. At 7 horsepower, this engine may seem small, but it's enough to move the truck and a load of 2,000 kilograms safely. They check the oil and install a bracket for the vehicle control handle. The handle is then connected to a computerized system that operates both the vehicle and its hydraulic lift. They slide the steering wheel onto a shaft and make sure it's solidly attached. Production then hits a turning point as they power up the motor and check the steering wheel installation. They flush filtered oil through the hydraulic system that powers the lift. It's a cleansing process to ensure no dirt can compromise the hydraulics. They test the computerized controls for the lift and motor. With the hydraulic cylinders installed, they grease the main frame above them. This makes it easier to slide the inner rails onto the frame. And later, the grease will also improve the function of this hydraulic lift. They thread chains through the main frame and its inner rails. These chains will work in conjunction with lift cylinders to elevate the load. They roll the forklift's carriage along grooves in the rail system. It's this carriage to which the forks and other attachments will be mounted. A special machine now maneuvers the lift into an upright position. Then they wheel in the completed truck. They call this a marriage because the truck and lift are getting hitched. They bolt the two sub-assemblies together from the inside of the empty battery compartment. Then they temporarily connect the forklift to a battery in order to move it down the line. It's time for the forklift to undergo a little corporate branding with these company decals. They engrave a serial number onto a metal plate. It identifies the forklift for warranty purposes. They put a cover on the truck and this forklift is ready to go to work. The forks and the battery will be installed on the work site because they're often specific to the job. But one thing's for certain, this forklift is sure to carry a lot of weight in the workplace.